Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Timeless Tropical. I used the big flower, the small flower, the leaf and the palm trees. For the sentiment I've put with friendly thoughts and best wishes for today and every day I got from Floral Essence. The card I'm using is Oh, I've got blushing bride out. Let me get a pink up. Oh, a piece of um. Oh my God, what's this called? Petal pink. Picked up the wrong one. Like you do. So I have a piece of petal pink of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, or in my case folded at four and one eighth, and scored. And I have two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths and three and seven eighths, one for inside and one for the front. And I have a piece of scrap. Um, card for the sentiment petal pink completely went out my brain is that hmm I think this has not been trimmed down oh no it's five and seven eighths by four and one eighth That's better. Didn't have it on there properly. Right, to get started, we are going to do our... Now, I don't need to do the flowers, as I've already done them and cut them out. Yeah, and that one I didn't lay the die on properly, but it's alright because I'll hide it behind that one like that um, but I will do a flower on the inside so to get started we need our old olive and our palm tree now with the palm tree I'm going to use it as a background leaf I don't need to stamp the trunks I just need to stump the leaves. So with that I am just going round the outside. Now I've done this wrong, that's too dark. Oh, I know what I've done. I'm not doing very well at this. That's for the leaf. I need pear pizzazz. That's what I need. Turn it over. And start again. Right. With pear pizzazz, ink up your tree branches and stamp it around the middle not going too near the edge you can go out into the corners a little bit like that that's all we need that one for now with old olive and the leaves we're going to do one and then stamp off do one stamp off do one stamp off and do one stamp off 
and that is all we're going to do with that. Very quick background because once we lay the flowers, that one goes underneath and that one goes on top. And that is how that looks after you've done that. Which is quite nice, isn't it? Doesn't take long at all. But now, oh, let me just just ink that up. I just want to put a little bit on there. Not much because we need the little flour and crumb cake. That's what I did the outside of the flowers with. Crumb cake. And then we just coloured this in, in petal pink. Now my petal pinks are running out. So I should just colour them in the best I can. This one seems to be all right. Right then, I think it's this one that's dying. So I'm just doing a little bit of dark here at the stem of the flower. Like that. And then a bit of lovely lipstick because I don't have magenta madness. And I just want to put some, just a little bit of pink in. Then, you'll laugh at me now, a bit of crumb cake. Just rub that in with a bit of crumb cake. Blend it in. Because we need the stem of the flower to be a bit dark. So it gives it that funnel effect. And then rich raspberry, which will just go round. And in the middle. Bring my crumb cake back because I forgot to do the edges. That is my flower. It goes on the ins. Oh, I'll be that way inside. Like that. So, let's put this card together. We're going to glue this I believe we used the wrong ink Well I can believe I used the wrong ink And we need some dimensionals 
if I remember rightly. No large ones. One each on these ones. And we'll put two on there. Was it two? Yeah. Now, with this, I did lift a little bit. All I did was bend the petals in half and just rubbed them with my thumb just to lift it up a bit. A bit. Same with these, just lift up the sides and rubbed it with my thumb now. And this one. That's it. And we'll pop the big one down first and that one no that one goes underneath there and this one goes on top there. Oh. Right, and this. Now we have our sentiment to do, which is a bit of card, and it is still in the oh, so I got this out. I did, and memento. this madness and I'm going to just stamp that Ooh, not very straight it's better Right, cut it up. And cut. Right, what I did with this, I did that. Keep my fingers in the middle because I don't want it to. Um, completely stand up. I want it up like this. Now, I did flag the other one, but I didn't leave enough room on this one, so it's not getting flagged. What I did do then is put a dimensional in the middle. Take off that. And then I glued the ends. And it's 
set it down like that. Right, need some gems. So I did stick five, I'm sure it did. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Nice little gold ones on here. There we are. Five little gems on there. And that is an extra one. That is my card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, I'll get in. This one's redder in the more in the middle than that one. Right. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell button, you'll be notified of any videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.